Tolkien, uh, he's been hated by the entire literary establishment. I could not care less, because I was never a professor of English literature, a poor, squalid, shabby bunch, in my opinion. I was a professor of English language. Uh, when I was a lad, what we were told all the time was that there was a great tradition of the English novel. Uh, Jane Austen, George Eliot, Henry James, uh, D.H. Lawrence, mm, some other people as well, I dare say. But so much of uh, the great tradition that I was taught is really fussing about the Anglo-American class system. Genteel adultery in East Massachusetts, uh, minor spats among people in North London and North Oxford, people who were actually nothing like as interesting as they thought they were. Well, um, I would say that actually uh, I quite agree with the notion that great novelists should address great issues. But what were the great issues? What was really uh, important to the, even to the haute bourgeoisie over most of Europe was uh, being bombed and uh, suffering ethnic cleansing and uh, suffering genocide and wondering what was the meaning of all this. And it seems to me that what, that is what the authors of works like 1984 or Slaughterhouse-Five, or Lord of the Rings. That's what they were writing about. And the reason people took to them is because people recognised that. And so I wrote the book, which is called Tolkien, Author of the Century. And I knew they'd hate it. Oh, and they did. Indeed, I remember another distinguished professor of literature uh, uh, shouting down the phone, not to me, but to another interviewer, Author of the Century? Has the fella never heard of Proust? <laughs> I thought, yes, the fellow has heard of Proust, actually. Shall we conduct the rest of this interview in French? I bet mine's much better than yours, you monoglot clown. Tolkien, of course, went over the top with the Lancashire Fusiliers. Um, it was very hard, I think, to uh, have a notion of heroism after the profoundly cynical experience of World War I, of industrialised warfare. And you might say, in fact, that it was impossible to write uh, heroic literature anymore. As Robert Graves said, goodbye to all that. It's gone. We've had it. Um, what Tolkien did was to create a new image of heroism and actually to make it compatible with what people knew from their own experience. So Tolkien actually turned the tide, the ironic tide, um, and he made it possible not only to write fantasy, but to write heroic fantasy. And perhaps the, uh, the critical invention there is hobbits. That's a new kind of heroism.